Hello everyone, it's me, Sarra. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, on this channel, I'll be sharing with you guys a cruelty-free makeup bag. Well, first, let me talk to my Turkish friends for a second. Herkese merhaba, ben Sarra. Kanalıma hoş geldiniz. Eğer bu videoyu Türkçe olarak izlemek isterseniz, aşağıdaki linke tıklayarak hemen şu an Türkçe kanalıma gidebilirsiniz ve oradan videoyu Türkçe olarak seyredebilirsiniz. Teşekkür ederim. Well, I'm back. Yeah, today I'll be talking about a cruelty, how to make a cruelty-free makeup bag and how to choose and find good cruelty-free makeup brands and products. I chose what I like to use and what I have in my makeup collection, at least in Switzerland at the moment, and uh, I chose to share them with you guys. First, uh, I would like to share my guilt. Um, I found out that I have none a foundation, concealer and powder brands which are cruelty free. All my products in those three categories are all cruel products. So I'm very sorry but that's the way it is. I'm very much regretting it at the moment and I'll be doing the best that I can to find um, and actually I found them but buy cruelty free makeup products in those three categories. But first let me share you some that you can buy uh, foundation, concealer and powder, which will be cruelty free. You can buy um, Too Faced, Urban Decay, NYX, Tarte, Berry Minerals, Berry M, Wet n Wild, Charlotte Tilbury, if I didn't say that, Body Shop, uh, Gosh, Essence, Physicians Formula. With all from these brands, you can buy cruelty free foundations, concealers and powders. But I've never tested any one of them, I think. Um, so. I know that Charles Tilbury, Tarte, Too Faced, Urban Decay are great brands, so you can trust them. NYX you can trust, um, and Wet n Wild you can definitely trust, and which will be extremely cheap compared to the others in these categories. So you can get those three categories of products from those brands, even though I don't have them, but I sure hell will buy some for sure. Let me now continue with the products that I actually have. Again, I would love to let you guys because I just forgot that um, cruelty free means that these brands are not testing on animals or harming animals in any ways while they're producing their products. Um, so this is a good deed actually, <laughs> yeah. Um, just want to tell you because if you didn't watch my previous video where I tested my makeup bag if it was cruel or not and found out that it was actually cruel and told you about the brands that are cruel and not cruel, um, you can go check out that video now and you can find a link down below. First I would like to start with the brushes. Um, I can suggest you Real Techniques Echo Tools which are definitely cruelty free and great brands. I love these brushes. Echo Tools is especially a very natural makeup brand, actually it tries to be anyways. And Real Techniques is a great brand so you can find cruelty free makeup brushes from these brands. And for makeup sponges, you can find again in Real Techniques, they're uh, sponges I love. And also Beauty Blender is a cruelty free makeup brand, so you can choose Beauty Blender as well. Um, next are primers. For primers, I have two options, two suggestions for you guys. Smashbox is a cruelty free makeup brand. You can actually get a foundation from there as well, foundation, concealer and powder, I forgot to say that. And the NYX is a cruelty free makeup brand, and I love their primers. NYX I have is pore filler, and for Smashbox I have photo finish blanch control, and I love these both. So you can get that if you'd like. Next, let me talk about bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. For bronzers and uh, contour palettes, not like contour colors, contour powders, I don't know, um, I can suggest you first. Um, Body Shop Honey Bronze Bronzer, which is a great, great, great bronzer. Um, it's really cheap, it's a real good brand, it's a cruelty free, very natural makeup brand. You can go with this. Um, next is a matte bronzer by NYX, which is a great bronzer, great contour powder. You can go with this, it's also really cheap. And thirdly, it's Bahama Mama by The Balm, which is also cheap and it's a really good brand and it's cruelty free and their powders are amazing. Um, next is a blusher that I found. It's, I love this blusher actually. It's 
on Stan, I think, in French. It's a balm blusher. Uh, you can get this in, I think, four or five colors. They're very cheap and uh, they're also cruelty free, so you can get them. I have one in purple and I really like it, especially in fall, autumn time. You can get these. And um, for highlighters, I would suggest again the balm. I have the the Menizer Sisters, all three of them, but I would normally go for the Mary Luminizer and in summertime I will pick Better Luminizer because it has a warmer tone, but in the wintertime I would go with Mary Luminizer. Their highlighters are great and they're cruel to free. And next is a Wet n Wild highlighter, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, which is a great highlighter and it's cheap and cruelty free and I have it on at the moment actually it's a great highlighter if you would like to get that eyeshadow palette um, I picked Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics which I love, I use constantly it's a great brand, great products but they're expensive but they're good um, if you would like to, and there's a cruelty free if you would like to get a cheaper option you can go with the Balm um, eyeshadow palettes they're to free cheap and really good and value so you actually get more than what you paid for and it's a great brand you can also get a wet and wild eyeshadow palettes especially i would suggest the comfort zone which are great you can use them kiko has some eyeshadows a lot of eyeshadows like actually but i wouldn't suggest them because i don't like their pigmentation but kiko is also a cruelty free brand which i'll be talking in another product about next is an eyeliner suggestion oh my god my battery is running out of power yeah next is an eyeliner which is the Schwing the balm eyeliner I love this it's cruelty free but it's a great 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 product you can go with this I, I think you, this is the only high eyeliner you would ever need in your entire life next are my lipsticks one is a liquid lipstick it's by NYX lingerie I love 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 this product it's really cheap it's really good and it's cruelty free and also a Kiko lipstick, it's a matte lipstick, I love this product as well, it's also cruelty free, it's really good and it's cheap, you can get this, but also you can, I love uh, the Wet n Wild lipsticks, you can also get them, they're really cheap and cruelty free and really good. And last but not least are um, is the mascara, I love Extreme Essence mascara, it's really cheap, really good and cruelty free, it gives you a crazy volume and it's a great product. So yeah, before I run out of battery power, this, these are my suggestions for a cruelty-free makeup bag if you would like to have one or at least pick some of them to put in your makeup bag. These are really good products, really good brands and they're cruelty-free. Um, so I hope you love this video and I hope you will give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel from right here. You will find the links and the products down below in the description box. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video. Bye!